Time to talk about laptops. What is up dogs? It's Cameron with Venus Theory and today we're here to talk about laptops for music production. Uh, this is another um, popular question on the channel is, you know, computers for music production, what laptop should I get and blah, 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 blah. So I figured I would share with you guys my recommendation and my laptop that I use for production and live performance stuff and lots of other things. Um, in recent years, and I'm sure you guys have noticed this, computers have gotten really powerful. <laughs> like the moment I put a 1070 in my desktop, I like, I, I'm, I'm still fairly certain that this is the pinnacle of technology and it's all downhill from here. And I'm only like 24 and I already feel old and computers are too powerful and it's all going to become self-aware and blah, blah, blah. But anyways, back on subject, let's talk about laptops. So my laptop for music production and stuff is this guy right here. This is an MSI GS63VR6RF. Uh, yeah, model name right there. Anyways, um, this is probably my recommendation for music production. And this is a bit pricier, but it does come with a lot of advantages. When you're looking for a laptop for music production, there are a few pretty specific concerns um, because a lot of uh, producers now I've noticed like only produce on a laptop. Like they don't even have a desktop half the time because laptops have become so damn powerful. Um, but you know, like there are some downsides to laptops. Usually they're not as powerful, you know, they don't have enough horsepower behind them, but this guy does. And this computer, I mean, I, I could honestly realistically ditch my desktop for this. And it is expensive. Uh, this guy at the time I purchased it was, I believe about 1600 US, uh, but I'm sure the price has probably dropped by now. It's been a year, maybe a little more uh, since I purchased this. But anyways, this guy right here has so much power behind it. It's got a sixth gen Intel i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabyte solid state drive and a one terabyte hard drive and a GTX 1060, um, six gigabyte, I think is what's in there. Uh, there'll be a link below to check out the laptop. Um, but this guy is definitely my recommendation because this has just so much power to it and it can run anything I can throw at it. Um, when I'm using this live, I use Ableton on it and never had an issue. Um, and then even uh, I have Cubase installed on here and when I'm doing, you know, stuff on the go or whatever, I can just drop in my iLock and problem solved. But like the power you need is really something about like this, because if you don't have enough RAM and you don't have a decent CPU, you know, you can really suffer once you start to get more tracks and more VSTs running. But this guy, I mean, can handle pretty much anything I can throw at it which just kind of blows my mind for what it is. And I mean, it cost a little less than it did to build my desktop, which is just like mind blowing. Cause you know, laptops were always kind of more expensive than desktops for a while, but you know, things have gotten so powerful and so tiny that like you could realistically get away with this thing. Um, the MSI one in particular is what I recommend because I've never had an issue with MSI. Um, and this, comes from my previous production laptops. Um, so I had two other laptops for production. Uh, I had a cheaper one I bought when I went to college. Um, wasn't really meant for it, but it worked. And then I bought a Lenovo something or other. And this was big 17 inch, 17 and a half inch, something like that display, awesome screen, uh, GTX 900 something, you know, really powerful laptop and it died and the touch screen was the worst thing ever. So if you don't take anything else away from this video, that is my one piece of advice. If it has a touch screen, do not buy it. Um, the screen died on me, which infuriated me because that was like $900 out the window. And on top of that, you know, when I was using it live, the touch screen would just start doing things. And I think it was like the heat from the lights maybe, or just, you know, whatever. And like, it just couldn't handle it. And this MSI is like rock solid. And the Cooler uh, cooler Pro, Cooler Master, I don't know what it is. Um, anyways, the cooling on this is great. And that was another issue I had with that Lenovo is like it just overheated all the time. But these guys, um, I've never had an issue with it doing live performance or just in general. I mean, it's built really well. 
and I've never had an issue with MSI's RMA service because I had uh, the hard drive on this fail. It just wouldn't read it from the SATA connection and sent it back, got it back, no problems. Um, I know I, I've read uh, some things on the internet where people had a lot of issues with MSI, so your mileage might vary, but I've had nothing but good experiences with them with this laptop, um, motherboards and other stuff I've got through them. And honestly, if I had to buy a music production laptop today, this would be my go-to because the Alienware stuff, while it's really nice, the price is just astronomical for what it is. And then, you know, going below that and not getting like a gaming laptop, I haven't found another computer out there that's like sub $1,000 that like I would purchase. So, I mean, out of my recommendation for a price range, I would plan for at least $1,500 to get you know, a decent gaming laptop. And, you know, gaming laptops, like I've said, have just become so freaking powerful anymore that like this thing could totally replace my desktop if I wanted it to. And that's just what's great about it. So, you know, if you save up for it, I think this would be the worthwhile purchase for any level of producer. Um, if you're super fresh, it's quite a bit of money. But if you are further along in your production career, this would be my go-to. Like if I was buying it all over again, this is the exact same choice. MSI has other models out now and price wise versus value and performance. This is still like my number one choice out of all the laptops out there for production. And I had to cut the video. But anyways, guys, that is it for this video. So thank you for watching and I hope you found this helpful. As always, be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys again soon.